Rich, uh, let's start with the future of reinforcement learning. Oh, the future of reinforcement learning is bright uh, and all that stuff. And it'll become more and more important over time, whatever. Uh, uh, I think maybe the, the most interesting prediction or bet that I could make is um, uh, uh, to be sort of, sort of like Archer, uh, you know, skeptical of um, the chain of thought, the linguistic chain of thought as a means of reasoning. Um, I don't think I don't think language is going to be a good a good uh, representation or a good language for reasoning. I think this is the hope of the large language models: is that oh, if we can talk like people, then we can reason like people, and we can just tell it. Oh, show me your chain of thought, how you reason from what you know to this conclusion, and. You know, you can get results that kind of uh, kind of look like it. That's why they call it reasoning. Um, but I think ultimately that is going to fail because it's just a a messy and a not a not well thought of and not an undesigned uh, understanding of what thought and reason is. You know, say what you will about the limitations of symbolic logic it's a it's a clear understanding of what what reasoning is and what how you deduce some facts from other facts and and maybe there's something similar for empiricism how you can go from some empirical facts to other empirical facts so the, the importance is that there's a theory or there's an understanding of how the reasoning works and that we see in large language models and language systems is almost the explicit almost explicit denial of an understanding and, and denial of the idea that understanding how the systems should work or could work or do work is important they say well you know no one really understands them but they seem to talk like people and maybe they're going to be reasoning and i think this is just sort of hope and it's that hope will 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 you know it'll it'll only be approximately true and you, you kind of thing you muddle through and eventually, when you get something with a better foundation, it will replace the the reasoning in in just natural language. And natural language will not be a sustainable, high quality re reasoning technique. I want to give some hint about how you might formalize these messy things. Yeah, please. Co can opening the door because uh, I don't think it's so horribly impossible. Uh, you have to describe the question. The question is. Uh, what if I did this thing? Okay, so you have to have a description of the thing that's being done, whether it's turning the Coke can over on your, on your upside down, or it's a to opening the door. They're both some procedure that you will follow for a period of time. So you say, I've got procedure, which is, says what to do in re response to states. You, you, so I have the open the door procedure, you know, like in, in symbolics, we would we say open the door with hyphens between all the word open the door and we say execute that procedure and then we ask after that's complete um, will uh, each feature will it be will it be true will i act see activated the feature of i will see my spouse will i see activated the feature that i will see uh, an empty hall right so you, you just have a procedure and you're asking that at the end of it will um, this feature be true or false and you could ask that for a whole mess of features and so and, and then you've made it formal it is kind of formal here there's a well-defined procedure and you're asking a question about what will happen at the end of it and the answer is not going to be not going to be formal in the sense that there's going to be a logical answer but there's a well-formulated question and have a statistical answer uh but you need you know um presumably a that feature, isn't that a symbol? And it's interesting to think about the relationship between features and symbols, because a, 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 a feature is is a uh, a thing that has an, a value. Maybe let's make it a binary value. So it's a predicate. A predicate simple it, sig signal is takes a value at each point in time, right? It may be true of this the current state or not true of the current state. And um, 
and then it's very much like like a symbol like a like a, a, a proposition as a first order or something right it's just true or false in each situation okay I'm trying to think of features in the, the, that way like predicates this is good that we at least have hope from which that there is a formalization possibility. 